strange. Hey, darling. Whoops. It's the wrong house. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. You're up to something. Did you buy that fur coat that we decided I couldn't afford? Of course not, dear. Wait, wait a minute. What have you done? Nothing. Oh. All right. Now, look. You've been Mrs. Leonera for a long time now. Who's addressing you as Mrs. Drinkwater? Aunt Jessie. She's coming for a visit. Oh, that's the one with all the money. Yes. She must be worth a couple of million. Hmm, dear old Aunt Jessie. We've got to make an impression on her. Well, not we, dear. You see, she doesn't believe in divorces. And if she ever found out I divorced Jack Drinkwater and married you, she'd cut me out of her will before you could say Kilroy was here. He was? I mean, uh, she would? Oh, I don't believe it. But you don't know Auntie. I'll have to get my first husband back and pretend we're still married just while she's here. You mean you're going to bring your first husband into this house? Oh, I won't go for that. Sweetheart, I'm in Auntie's will for at least $100,000, and it'll only be a few hours. Look, if your Auntie figures that way about it, she can keep her money. We don't need it. We don't need it, but we could certainly use it. You but... Well, how do you know your first husband will do this? I talked to him on the phone. Oh, it's all set, eh? If you think I'm going to leave you in this house alone with your first husband, you're crazy. But you don't have to, darling. You can, uh, be the butler. Oh, yeah. Butler? Who, me? Dinner's ready, madame. No, no, Leon. Not dinner is ready. Dinner is served. Dinner is served. Dinner is ready. What difference does it make? There's a lot of difference. Now, try it again. Yeah. There. Oh, that car. It's murdering me. Where are they going to change it? Hello, Dorothy. <laughs> Just what I expected. Well, I never disappoint a lady. My dear, you look like a million. I'm going to enjoy being your husband again. <laughs> oh, stop it, Jack. Stop it. What's the matter with you? You told me to act as though we were still married, didn't you? Yes, but save your acting until Auntie gets here. And don't overdo it. Okay, okay. How about a nice little drink, eh? You've had enough already. Uh, no, my dear, don't be so wife-like, will you? I want a drink. All right, I'll get you one. All right. <laughs> Say, don't... <laughs> a butler. Things are getting pretty rich here, right? You drink water? No, I never touch the stuff. Oh. Sit down, hey. love. Look, I am Mrs. Errol's first husband, do you understand? Now tell me something. What kind of a fellow is this Leon Earl guy, eh? Oh, uh, the master uh, is a very nice sort of a fellow, sir. Oh, is that so? How old is he? What, uh, what does he look like, eh? Oh, he's about my age, sir. Looks very much like me. An old fossil, eh? Yeah. Look. <clears throat> I want to tell you something, and I don't want you to breathe a word of... <coughs> oh, yeah. I made a terrible mistake in letting Dorothy get away from me, but I'm going to win her back. No, you are, eh? Yes, indeed. And you know, old Aunt Jessie, when she kicks the bucket, she's going to leave Dorothy a whole lot of money. <laughs> and I'm going to get in on it. That's what you think. <laughs> Just who do you think you are? I'm the old faucet you were talking about. You, Harold? Yes, I... Now, wait a minute. Here, I'll follow none of this. Hurry, hurry. No. Here, sit down. Put that down, I'll Put that down, I'll tell you. Oh, you... Leon! Stop, Stop it! Get away. Come in and make yourself comfortable, will you? There you are. I'll take that. Excuse me, Auntie. Huh? 
You're looking wonderful, Auntie. Yes, isn't she looking wonderful? <laughs> uh, how, how old are you now, my dear? Past 60. I never felt better in my life. That's a tough break. What's that? Uh, oh, that's great, my dear. That's marvelous. <laughs> You two don't seem to be getting along very well. Is something wrong? Of course not, Auntie. We're perfectly happy, aren't we, dear? Why, certainly we are. We're more in love now than when we were first married. <laughs> but I'm glad that you know how I feel about divorce. You needn't worry about us, Auntie. We'll be together until the end. Won't we, dear? Oh, uh, just battling, ma'am. Battling? What's that? Well, you take something from here, and you put it there, and you take something from there, and you put it here. It is battling, and all butlers do it. You make me nervous. Go battle something. Yes, ma'am. Thank goodness I'm only going to be here a couple of hours. Oh, but you can't leave us so soon. I won't think of it. Well, I was going straight through, but... Uh... Well, we mustn't upset Auntie's plans. Oh, nonsense. Auntie's going to stay with us for a few days. Or a couple of weeks. <laughs> In fact, I'd like to see her stay with us the whole month. Well, if you insist, I will stay a couple of days. Oh, thank you, Andy. You've made Dorothy and me very happy. How's it she, dear? Yes, darling. Well, excuse me a minute. I have something on the stove, and I'm afraid it might burn. Now, look, Leon. You have gone far enough. I'm going to throw that guy out of here and tell you, Andy, the truth. But you can't, Leon. We've gone this far. Yeah, that's just it. But he's going too far, hugging and kissing you. I don't like it. Well, I don't like it either. But I'm not going to give up now. And besides, he's only trying to convince Auntie. Oh, yeah? He's trying to steal you away from me. He told me so himself. Oh, so that's it. Yes. Well, don't worry, darling. He hasn't got a chance. The only one I love. Well, I know it, but does he? You, you beast! Don't you ever do that again! Say, what's the idea? This is terrible! Of all the nerve! Now maybe you'll fire him! Oh, Auntie! I was never so humiliated in my life! He just grabbed me and kissed me! You masher! I'll teach you to stay in your place! Now, Auntie, be calm for yourself! Auntie, please! We'll let Jack handle this! Just a minute. What? You've got to do something about that butler. Why? He just kissed your wife. Kissed my wife? That's awful. If I were a man, I'd thrash him within an inch of his life. That's a very good idea. I'm going to look around and see if I can find him. You won't have to look far. He's in uh, the kitchen. Is it the kitchen? Uh, where's the kitchen? Where's the kitchen? Well, the kitchen. Oh, the kitchen. The kitchen. Why, well, certainly it's right out of here. Good night, Auntie. 
Good night, Auntie. Good, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, go on, go on. <laughs> downstairs and get some from the butt. Have you seen Mr. Drinkwater? No, ma'am. It's a toothpaste. Thanks. How did you know I wanted toothpaste? I, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm just psychic.
Darby. Dorothy. You haven't got a million dollars. <laughs> 